welcome. Welcome to the MBLEX review course. Uh, my name is Jody Scholes. I am your instructor uh, for the course, and I am delighted to be here with you today. We're doing a different class today. We're doing a class that is going to give you the foundation of how to study for the MLEX. So we're gonna be talking about what to study. We're gonna be talking about when to study. We're gonna be talking about how does the Patreon, how does the Patreon site work? How do you as a patron navigate the site? We're gonna be taking a look at the online learning center and showing you exactly how to navigate the online learning center. So this is a time where you get organized. I feel like we're kind of starting fresh. Uh, and so I know many of you have piles of books and piles of notebooks, um, and those are helpful. They're great resources. I just want you to use them effectively. Before we start, uh, we do class in three parts. First part is test taking strategies, insights into how to approach the MBLEX. The second part of class is our learning. And today we're going to be talking about organizing your studies. And then the third part of class today will actually be Q&A. We'll be taking your questions. Um, you'll be asking me. Uh, and actually, we might even do some Q&A earlier if there is uh, any questions. Feel free to raise your hand if you have a question. So um, feel free to do that. Without further ado, we are going to begin with some breaking news. We have a guest speaker that's going to get us kicked off. And that guest speaker uh, has, uh, is, uh, her name is Lana Palmero. And uh, she has some good news to share with you. In fact, I'm gonna turn the floor over to Lana. My dear, would you like to have a word with our group today? Yes, I would. Good afternoon, everyone. I am just so excited to announce that I graduated. I mean, not graduated. I passed my Inblex last <laughs> Monday, and <laughs> it was awesome to, to receive that piece of paper that said pass. I thought I was going to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> I have not stopped smiling since, but I just want to thank you so much, Jody, for your guidance and your support. And all the little extra nuances that you gave us really helped. Um, I know a big part for me was studying the uh, prefix and suffix of words because there were, I was like, I have no idea what they're talking about, but I was able to figure it out because of prefix and the suffix. So apparently my guess worked. Um, and as you did mention, there was a, a, a slight change in the test where they had three and four answers. So I, I think maybe 40% of the tests, I had three answers. So that helped a lot <laughs> for anything I did not know. And I was able to, I was like, okay, well, I could eliminate at least one and take a 50% guess on the other two. So that really helped. And let me um, point out that strategy you just mentioned, Lana, because this is a strategy I really encourage you test takers um, to remember. When you can eliminate one or two answers that you know are just not even in the ballpark, it's like, okay, that's in the shoulder, we're in the low back, or you know, that has to do with diabetes, not hypertension. You know, so, really eliminating those two wrong answers, A, improves your confidence, but B, improves your chances. Mm -hmm. So thanks for mentioning that part, Lana. Really appreciate that. How were you feeling about halfway through the test? Nervous. <laughs> because I I am not a test taker. That's oh, that's my weakness. And plus, I have a brain injury from an accident. And I've lost 20% of my memory. So I have to study extra hard and hope that I re retain the information. Um, high five, man. High five. Yeah. I was so over flashcards and notes. I could wait to get home and just burn all the, kept my books, but I got rid of all the notes. <laughs> um, I, I do, I can say what really helped me, your class also, um, I listened to podcasts, you know, every free in the car, every opportunity I had, I listened to the Inblex Preparation Podcast. And I think that a lot of that just kind of really just sunk in my head. 
Excellent. I love it. Podcast. I'll, I'll make sure that the, uh, the other graduates get a link to that. Um, so if I heard what you said, um, you were in the test, taking the test and you were still nervous. I was extremely nervous because it looked like I was going to run out of time. And I'm like, oh, that time ticker and the right. I was like, oh gosh, I kept seeing it going down and I still had 50 questions left. <laughs> and I had, so I basically had 50 questions left and I had 50 minutes. I was like, oh, I got one minute per question. So I said, you know, I gotta, gotta pick it up. So I ended up having 10 minutes left at the end, but I used my time wisely. Absolutely, absolutely. And I just, I wanna point out to our community that the nerves, we're there still, yeah. It, and that we got to, we and Lana gets to got to manage her nerves. She got to remember to breathe, to you know, to just stay present, to watch the clock, but not let the clock rule her. Yeah. What I heard Lana say was, "Wow, I better pick it up a little." The other thing that I did, I. I meditate every morning, but I intentionally created a meditation candle. And on the meditation candle, I wrote down, you're going to study at this time, this time, this time on these days a week. And my meditation candle would stay, would light for seven days. And so it kept me, it kept me on it. It's like, okay, you know what? This is the time you need to be, to be studying. Beautiful. In fact, that's, it's perfect that you are mentioning that um, at the beginning of this class because that is one of the strategies that I'm sharing later on is a specific day and time to study. Just like you've got a job, they don't tell you, hey, you know, you're gonna be, a, um, you're gonna work at the, you know, at the restaurant, you know, you're gonna work at the, the uh, at the restaurant. But you know what, come in any day, that you want to come in, come in anytime you want to come in and you can work for us. No, they don't. They give you a schedule and they have, they have things for you to do once you get there. Um, mm -hmm. And so that's the same thing with the Emblex. What we're covering today is the ability to give yourself a schedule. And then what will you put on that schedule? So I love that you lit a meditation candle as well. That is just what? such a beautiful connection. One thing that I found really important, I was so stressed out because I could not get the origins and insertion. I couldn't remember all of that. But once I... So, and so a word of encouragement, Lana, do you have a word of encouragement for uh, our community? Just don't give up. <laughs> just, you know, that was my second time taking the test. And I really thought, I was like, you know, maybe I'll get it on the fourth time because I knew it was going to be rough. And I was just elated to find out that I passed on the second. <laughs> exactly. All right. You know what? Let's get started instead with the online learning center because that's already pulled up and I think you're going to love it. So here is the online learning center. This is your dashboard what we call the dashboard. This is where all of your courses are hosted as well as your practice exam. So here you will see eight classes. Um, and the eight classes have to do specifically with the eight categories of topics that the Federation of State Massage Therapy Boards have given us. So we have anatomy, we have, and I will post that content outline again, but anatomy and physiology, kinesiology, client assessment, pathology, guidelines to a professional practice, two categories, one in ethics, laws, rules, regulations, and then the other in business practices. Then the other last category, the eighth category, is the benefits and physiological effects of massage. So take a look here. And you see we've got navigating the body. We've got anatomy of the upper and lower body. Your guidelines to a professional practice. Benefits of massage. Pathology. So all you do is you click on a class uh, and uh, take it. Very, very simple. Each class has elements 
in this class and the elements are called one, two, three, and four. This little icon here means it's a video and you can see the video is 45 minutes. And this little icon means it's a quiz. In this quiz, you're asked 25 questions on the content. That's how the Online Board Learning Center works. Uh, and so you can click here to go back to your dashboard. And then one of the um, one of the things I don't see on here right now is the practice exam, but that's okay. The practice exam also occurs right here on your dashboard. And again, you just click it to start it. The idea of the practice exam is that when you go to do your practice exam, that you sit down and you complete it in one sitting. You say, Jody, it's hard. Life comes up, things get in the way. Sometimes I have to leave. That's fine, you can leave and come back. I'm saying to set an intention to finish the practice exam in one sitting, even if that sitting, that one shot is more than two hours. You can get up, stretch your legs. And here's why. The reason being is that we want to build your test taking stamina. So building your test taking stamina. The test taking stamina is your ability to focus your ability to stay present. Yeah. So that's why it is hard. It's kind of the nature of the beast. It's kind of the nature of what we have to tackle to make, to prepare you, to prepare your brain for the duration of the test, to be able to say, I'm not giving up. I'm staying focused. I'm staying the course. And we heard Lana talk about earlier how she was nervous. She was nervous during the class, during the test. It's normal. It's what you do with that nervousness that counts, right? So what we're doing here is we're becoming an observer of ourself. We're becoming an observer of our behavior. And in doing so, we're able to self-regulate. I did not even know until Lana just shared it with us that she doesn't do well taking tests. Anybody else out there have trouble with tests? Yeah, practice here. Practice here in the Online Learning Center. Also, I wanna make you aware that you can apply for accommodations. You can apply while you, when you apply for the MLEX, you can make a request for additional time. You can have up to four hours. Yeah, you can also ask for a separate room. This will need to be requested in your initial application to take the exam, to take the MLEX. Now I did just say initial application, but if this is your second or third or seventh time taking the test, you can make that accommodation request when you pay your money. Even if it's not the very first time, you can make that request while paying the fee before, but it does need to be before your authorization to test, your ATT your authorization to test. All right, so here's the Online Learning Center. Some of you don't see these classes because you're not at the $49 level, that's okay. Um, but these are some of the resources that are available for you. And if you decide you wanna upgrade to the $49 level, I um, feel free to message me directly. We'll take a quick peek at that as we move over here. I'm gonna stop the share so that we can share again properly. This page will look familiar to you. This is the Patreon page. 
that you log into when you visit Patreon backslash Jody Skulls. What I wanted to point out is that this little blue message button allows you to send me a direct message. I get those direct messages and I respond. You can expect that I will respond to you within 24 hours. Um, that is just how we roll around here. I do my best to get back to you within 12 hours. Uh, and I know that there are times where the nerves are kind of kicking in and you're like, oh golly, um, you, know, I, you know, is she gonna, um, you know, I passed my practice exam. I need to have that result cleared. Is she gonna be, you know, when is she gonna clear that result? Breathe. Be an observer of yourself in that moment. Breathe. Know that I do check my messages regularly. Know that you can count on within 24 hours that that test score will be cleared once you pass. So, uh, and also for those $49 members, Patreons, you can request a copy of your practice exam. In fact, um, one of our community members, Mayor, he loves to get a copy of his practice exam. He combs through it, I'm sure. Those questions that you didn't answer prop correctly or didn't get to the best answer, there will be an answer key that is open. Yeah, an answer key that is open. The order of the classes. So what classes, how do you, what order do you do them in? So in the past, I have put one class on your dashboard at a time and everybody's going through this at a different pace. And so um, some people want all their classes all at once. That's awesome. I love it. You know, go for it. Um, this is the order in which we do class week to week. I teach them. All right. So excellent work this week in the online learning center, you guys. You are keeping me on my toes. I am, <laughs> uh, I am finding new ways, new systems, uh, and new support to make sure that you're getting feedback, that you're getting your test results. Uh, mm -hmm. We're working on actually um, some new features for you uh, so that um, that it supports you uh, supports you in. Um, moving as quickly as you want through the material. So, oh, one other thing I forgot to show you while we're here, we got, okay, we've got a minute. I'll show you one more thing that I think is, is quite helpful. Back to the Patreon, Patreon page, right? That you're a patron of this page. I forgot to mention that right here in this gray box, this is a search box. So this is your message, but down here is your search box. And if you type in say this week you're studying, so next week we're studying navigating the body and say you wanted to watch all the live classes that have ever been done on navigating the body. We tap in here, navigating. I'm just even gonna put the first word, navigating. And we hit search. And here are all of the live classes that have been done navigating the body. And up at the top here, it'll probably tell you how many you got. Maybe down at the bottom. There's a bunch of them. So they're navigating the body. Some of these are links. All right. But you get the idea that you can search here. And uh, let's say you wanted to study upper body. Upper body. I put that, type that into the search box. Hit enter. And away you go with navigating with upper body. So it makes it a little bit easier to share, excuse me, it makes it a little bit easier to focus. Um, good. Yeah, it makes it a little bit easier to focus uh, when you prepare for the current week or the coming week. 
So um, this coming week, we're gonna be talking about navigating the body. We're gonna be talking about anatomical position, uh, planes of the body. We're gonna be reviewing coronal, the coronal or frontal plane. We're gonna be talking sagittal, we're gonna talk transverse. Um, we're gonna be talking about which plane of movement, uh, which uh, plane of movement that actions happen, flexion and extension, right? What defines that? We're going to be talking about lateral flexion, rotation, all of these good things. Now, so this is going to be a lesson focused on anatomy um, and that foundational knowledge, because for the rest of your life now, all movement starts from anatomical position. So anytime you have a question about movement, unless they tell you differently, you are in anatomical position. Well, I'm going to wind down our recording uh, and then I'll stay on a little after to see if there are any other questions. Uh, I'll sign off by saying my name is Jody Scholes. I am your instructor for the MBLEX review course. Thanks so much for being a part of this class. I hope you feel inspired. I hope you feel hopeful and I hope you feel well informed as you prepare to pass your MBLEX. We'll see you again next week or see you again real soon.